Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for January. Going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and of course feeling regarding yourself and uh, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is time stamped, so that should be in the description bar below. Uh, this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay, as I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there's sometimes, you know, it could be messages throughout this that just jump out and speak to you. And of course... Like I always say, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. There we go. So just give me a moment to just take these in. And I'll be back. So Capricorn, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so it seems like this person, you're, you're highly, you, you, there's a recognition, let's start there. There's a recognition that this person is either extremely attractive, they could be very attractive, uh, admired by the opposite sex, but also there is this determination, this drive for you to actually uh, get this person uh, and actually build or birth something with them. I feel like you've kind of decided that this is someone that you actually want to uh, move ahead with, almost definitely. There's a level of focus with the King of Wands there that you have for this person that it's like nothing's stopping you. <laughs> nothing's going to stop you because this is coming from the past. It's like nothing's going to stop you. You've got your eye on this person. They've caught your eye in some way, shape or form if this is someone new. Um, and yeah, do you see that? We've got the Ten of Cups, this emotional fulfillment that you feel they're going to provide for you. They tick all those boxes. And with that, it's like, okay, that's it. I've, you've, I've got my eye set on them because you're wanting to birth something. Whether you feel like this is someone that you could get married to, start a family with, for some of you it is. Um... But whatever the case may be, it's this birthing of something. Very much having a focus on, on that. It's interesting because for this person, and I want to pull on this as well, just to get some clarity, there's something around transformation. I'm not sure whether you've caught this person at a point where they're... For some of you, it could be them coming out of something, something serious like a marriage or... Um, a, a long-term relationship uh, or for, for some of you it could be and I'm going to clarify this now it could be this recognition that you are gonna or have inspired some form of transformation when we're talking about the death card we're talking about the ending of something but with the ending of something there's a rebirthing of something else so I just want to clarify that just want to get some more insight around that this transformation yeah this transformation I feel like this person is possibly coming out of because we've got the tower here coming out of something or it might not even be a relationship it might just be a point in their life or a time in their life that you've actually caught them um, and they're going for a huge shake-up in some way shape or form they could could have also experienced some disruption in their life um, where they're now just, which has caused them to kind of grow or change in some way, shape or form. So with that focus or with that, there is this decision or choice um, that they, they know they need to make. It's like, should I or shouldn't I? It's that type of thing. But there is this sweet feelings between the both of you. You know, there is emotions there. Uh, and I want to say as, young as they are and I say young in the sense of it being maybe just someone that you've not known for a long time so it's at the early stages of it but we've got the page of cups so that talks about you know emotions you know love and uh, caring let's say that care you both recognize that there's care there um 
for for you it's like i'm not sure why you feel the need and we'll get into maybe why the need to be a bit controlling or a bit sharp with this person a bit hmm i feel like it's coming from a place uh capricorn the fact that you have made up your mind you've got your mindset on this person it's like well you know maybe they're not maybe they're dragging their feet or something along those lines but there is this feeling of all this idea of you needing to be a bit maybe dominating or a bit controlling or, or maybe got your watchful eye on this person to make sure they're moving in the correct way i feel like that's coming from this three of cups there we go in your challenge position so we've got the ace and we've got the three of cups this talks about your um, an opportunity to create something new so there's a challenge around that for you and i feel like yeah there's a challenge around that for you the challenge is is you actually embracing that because for some reason you feel like this person is entertaining other people or they might have someone or you know maybe maybe it's coming from a place of the the fact that this person is extremely good looking and they have lots of admirers and people that are attracted to them for some of you it could be coming from that place but that's definitely something that you're feeling and you're not really you're not liking that for them they're showing up as the, it's like they're receiving in it's like this person is very connected you're dealing with someone who's connected especially at this time in their life it's like they they listen to their self very much connected to their internal world uh that might be the repercussions of where they are at the moment in terms of this shake-up this transformation that they're going through but they're they're the type or at the moment they're the type to kind of rely on their intuition it's it's that type of thing rely on their intuition because they're finding it challenge challenging to align with this and i feel like this falls back to what they're going through i feel like you just met this person at a, a funny space i don't even want to use the word funny space because it's not it's transformation it's change big change as well and and it's like am i is is the time right you know should i go ahead with this can I go ahead with this? Then they're, they're not aligning with that answer as yet. You know, they haven't gotten that uh, insight yet. I'm not sure whether this person has expressed to you what's going on for them, what's really going on for them that way. And we've got the moon card there. You see, lack of clarity around aligning with this. Like how, and when I talk about alignment, I'm talking about them aligning their thoughts and, and feelings with the vision of what this is or what this could be um and that's because I, I guess they can't see they can't see at the moment demonstrated by the moon the lack of clarity around that naturally though naturally though yeah i was saying i'm not sure why you feel <laughs> Um, or instantly go to um, page if you guys can see that. I'm not sure why you feel that. It, yeah, do you see that? You, this challenge around you actually embracing this opportunity, um, and it's because of there's an interference. So you feel. I don't feel like there's any interference. Yes, we've got the queen, but that's more about let's see let's see let's see let's see that could be a person got the full card there which talks about yeah so this okay so for some of you and this is and this is for those of you actually have received insight well you've received insight haven't you you, you clearly have so that, that's where the choice is coming from that's where the choice is coming from. This could be a marriage or a long-term relationship as well, this, this thing here. But there's challenge around that. It could be someone else. Just, you know, and we're talking about people that you're just speaking to. I don't feel like this person is doing anything wrong um, or anything like that. And that's where this controlling is coming from. I feel like I don't pick up that this person is cheating or doing any of that because I don't feel like you've solidified the connection. Yes, there's feelings there. There's care but you haven't both said okay we're going to be exclusively dating or we're going to you know so 
Yeah. But you've got your eyes set on this person. And so with that comes this. I don't know how to express this. I'm going to be honest. It's this. Um, am I strong enough? Do I have enough strength? Do I have the strength to do this again? <laughs> if that makes sense, do this again. I feel like some of you maybe could be coming from something or a line of things where things have, haven't worked out. That's for some of you. That's not for all of you. But there's something around a fear of you not having the strength to do something or to manage something. We do have that judgment card there, which I will pull on. Don't be so harsh on yourself as well. I feel like some of you maybe, and this is for some of you, a bit critical regarding just your self-talk. So be, be wary of that and keep an eye on that. Um, yeah. This person is being able to, they're, 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 it's like being optimistic. Being optimistic. Fair around optimism. I don't feel, I feel like you, you're going to need to have some patience with this person. So if this isn't a person, and, and like I said, if this is a person, uh, if you know for sure that this is a person, they're, they're dealing with a, a person or speaking to someone, then that's the case. If you're just kind of thinking it, it's not the case. Their the challenge is around feeling like you're going to have patience with them. That's where that's coming from, is patience and understanding. Um, yeah, I feel like you've just met this person at a point where they're going through some stuff. And transformation, a change, because there's been a shake-up in some way or about to happen. There's about to be some form of shake-up. And there's a choice that they're wanting to make. It doesn't take away from the fact that they recognise there's emotions, there's this care, you know. It's just the place that they're at at the moment. So hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've been that. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. See you next time.